So in today's video, I'm sharing another thing you actually do not need to grow, launch, and scale a spiritual business online. This is particularly true if you are a spiritual coach and you're looking to launch an offer program. So in today's video, I'm sharing another thing you actually do not need to grow, launch, and scale a spiritual business online. This is particularly true if you are a spiritual coach and you're looking to launch an offer program. And this holds so many spiritual coaches up from launching their businesses online. And the thing that you actually do not need is a certification. I see this hold up so many spiritual coaches because they think they need a certification in order to validate themselves and offer their coaching program. And this is absolutely not true. Now, this is not to say that a certification may not help you in some regards, maybe teach you, you know, coaching tactics or strategies or how to communicate with people or how to probe with appropriate kinds of questions and things like that. This isn't to say that a certification couldn't be helpful, but I see so many spiritual coaches getting certifications that really do not, in all honesty, prepare them to be a coach online um, in any capacity, especially a transformational coach or a spiritual coach. And the reason for this is because as a spiritual coach, you are being divinely guided. Your certification comes from above. You have stepped onto the path of divine service. And part of your quote unquote certification, if you want to call it that, is your own transformation process. Everything that you've gone through and grown through um, that has brought you to where you are at now. Right now, where you used to be is exactly where your soulmate client is still stuck and hanging out and desperately in need of your services. The only quote unquote certification that you need is to show up big and bold and own your own transformational story and process. This is one of the foundational pieces that I teach within Sacred Leader Academy when I teach the spiritual coaches, light workers, and healers that are, are drawn to me how to really own their own branding stories and their own transformational process. And recognizing that within their own transformational journey, therein lies the nuggets of wisdom and gold that your soulmate clients desperately need and are seeking. And so you've gone through this process You've gone through your own transformation and you've up leveled so many times because you are a teacher, healer, and light worker at your core. And now you are being called to bring it forward and help somebody else that's a few steps behind you, a few months, a few years, even a decade behind you, and help pull them up and help them get the transformation that you have already achieved. This is why I'm so passionate about teaching my authority conversion pathway, which is really highlighting you as an expert and authority in your niche because that's what you are and you do not need a certification to prove it. In fact, if you rely on a certification for the validation that you are seeking in order to be a spiritual coach or light worker or healer online, then you are doing a massive disservice to yourself and to your mission because part of your your gift is to honor your own transformational journey and all of the downloads and all of the guidance and all of the ancient wisdom that you are channeling and to put that into um, a digestible format, a container, a program, an offering that allows somebody else to take your step-by-step -step process or formula and transform their lives with it. Everything that you've gone through has been is being used for good. You are a vessel of divine service and all of your experiences um, have served you and play a massive role in who you have become. And I would bet if you look at all of your experiences, even the most unfavorable and especially the most unfavorable, they have all added a very 
um, important element to your story. And that is exactly what your soulmate client is going to resonate with. They're not going to um, resonate with a piece of paper. They're not going to resonate with some extra certification that you get. Those days of coaching are gone. That's the old paradigm of coaching. Experiential knowledge, going through the thick of your own transformational journey and coming out the other side, shining and being able to share your gift and your light and your wisdom with the world. That is the ultimate certification. And when I hear so many spiritual coaches get stuck in imposter syndrome or procrastination or shiny object syndrome, like they need one little shiny certificate after the other in order to validate themselves, I know that my mission right now is even more important because it's actually none of those things that are going to help you make the massive impact that you're looking for. It's gonna be you getting out of your way, um, stepping out of your comfort zone, sharing uh, what you've learned along the way and your own transformation so that you can help others. And in addition to that, allowing the divine guidance and the wisdom and everything that's coming, meant to come to you and through you as a channel, sharing those downloads with the world. And that you cannot get a certificate for. What it requires though is trust, which I often see is greatly lacking from the coaches that are desperately seeking more certifications and validation. They have yet to trust the journey, they have yet to trust themselves, they have yet to trust that they are divinely guided, and they have yet to trust the downloads and the wisdom that is coming to them and through them. They often will save it, put it in a journal, forget about it, maybe they'll share it, but they oftentimes critique it to death, perfect it to death. Um, they totally dilute the energetic frequency of the downloads and the guidance they're receiving by um, overthinking it or by comparing it to somebody else online and then tweaking it. If you're resonating with this, then you know exactly what I mean. And I'm here to tell you, you do not need a certification to be a successful spiritual coach or a transformational coach or a healer online. Um, I can say I do have my yoga certification and I am certified um, or I am, you know, a master energy healer in Reiki, different forms of Reiki. And I've taken NLP courses and things like that, but I actually didn't get certified in a lot of them. I've taken all the NLP, but when it came time to get certified, I never took it. I didn't even really think I needed it, but I wanted the knowledge and the, and the experience and, and the techniques. Same with yoga. I got certified in yoga, my 200 hour level, and then I took my 300 hour advanced level, went through all the trainings, but never finished that certification. Um, let's see, and I didn't think that I was a failure or that you know I was dropping the ball. It was really more my ego that needed the certification at that point because I had already gained and gleaned the wisdom that I needed from the, from the courses. And I'm not saying, again, certifications don't help you. I'm saying you do not need them to be a successful spiritual or transformational coach or healer online. And I can say I'm an example of that. I actually did not get any of the certifications that I've actually been trained on. Same with holistic nutrition. Um, same with Ayurveda, you know, I've taken so many because I'm interested in them and because when I, when I want to learn something, I want to learn it from the inside out. So why not take the course and, and, and do that? But when it came to actually getting certified, I never did. And I never let that hold me back. None of it mattered. What did matter was that I came full circle in my own journey and I walk my talk and I get out of my comfort zone and I take action and I share my story and I uh, recognize that everything up until this point has been serving me. You know, even the story about how I never took any of my certifications seriously is serving me because I'm sharing it with you right now and it's serving such a higher purpose that you do not need them in order to build the lifestyle and the business that you're looking to build online if you're a spiritual teacher, healer, coach, or light worker. You need to trust your mission. You need to trust your journey. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust the angels and the, all the guidance that you're receiving and the wisdom that's coming to you. Yeah, you need to do that, but you don't need another certification. You don't need any credentials in order to do this. You are divinely guided by spirit. Can you get higher than that? Let me ask you, can you? Because I'd love to hear it if you think you can.
when you are divinely guided by soul and spirit and all the synchronicities that are pointing you in the direction that you're headed, the last piece of the puzzle is for you to trust. And if you can find a certification that trumps spirit and source and divine wisdom and guidance channeling through you, using you as the vessel with your own stories, using your own story, spirit uses you as a vessel in your transformational journey because spirit knows your stories and your transform transformational journey is what's going to resonate with other people. And so spirit is capitalizing on your experiential knowledge and your wisdom of the journey that you've been through personally because it's your personal journey that's going to resonate with your soulmate client. So I hope this finds you well, and if you are thinking you need another certification before you launch your spiritual coaching business or your transformational coaching business online, I'm here to tell you, you don't need that. My clients haven't needed that, and I specifically am here to help the spiritual teacher, healer, lightworker, and messenger step fully into their purpose and mission work so they can make a massive impact in the world while building the freedom-based lifestyle and the wellness-based lifestyle that truly, truly supports them so that they can show up abundantly supported during their mission work and no longer feel like they have to sacrifice what it is they really want. They don't have to lead from lack. They get to be abundantly supported. So if this resonates with you, this is what I refer to as soul aligned success. No area of your life needs to be compromised in order to achieve success in another area. And if you're interested in building a business that is built on that premise, um, then check out my soul aligned success masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if that video resonates with you, that masterclass, then you will get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute deep dive strategy session with me where I help you map out your own soul aligned six figure and beyond business blueprint for your business. No certification required. So I hope this finds you well and I look forward to tuning in with you on another episode very soon. Namaste.